This is what most people imagine when they think of American trucks. Giants of the highway, loud, long, and powerful, rolling symbols of freedom and might. But what if that image was outdated? What if the most advanced, efficient, and truly heavy-duty trucks weren't roaring down the highways of Texas or California, but instead gliding quietly through the forests of Finland, the icy roads of Sweden, or the dusty outback of Australia? Because while America continues to focus on chrome, cab size, and nostalgia, the rest of the world has moved forward with smarter, safer, and significantly more capable trucks. So how did the land of innovation fall behind? And why is no one talking about it? Buckle up. This story might just change how you see the road forever. The illusion of American truck supremacy. American trucks look like monsters. Towering hoods, shiny chrome grills, and cabins big enough to live in. On the surface, they seem unbeatable, powerful, unstoppable, American. But look past the flash, and you'll find a hard truth. While the cabs have grown more luxurious, the part that actually carries the freight, the trailer, hasn't evolved much at all since the 1980s. That's right. For over four decades, federal regulations have frozen trailer sizes at 53 feet and capped total weight at 80,000 pounds. Why? Concerns about bridge safety and inconsistent infrastructure between states. Meanwhile, Europe and Australia kept moving forward. They embraced smarter engineering and bolder regulations, hauling more cargo with fewer trips and doing it cleaner, faster, and more efficiently. While America polishes its hood ornaments, other countries are revolutionizing what a truck can be. How American truck size got stuck. To understand how U.S. trucks fell behind, we have to rewind to the mid-20th century. In 1956, Congress launched the Interstate Highway System, a bold project that transformed national commerce. Suddenly, trucks could cross the country faster than trains in many regions. This sparked a trucking boom. Rigs got longer, stronger, and bolder. Movies like Convoy and Smokey and The Bandit turned truckers into national icons. But everything changed during the 1973 oil crisis. Diesel prices soared, and truckers protested, blocking highways and demanding reform. In response, Congress raised the weight limit to 80,000 pounds and allowed trailers up to 53 feet long. That was in 1982, and nothing has changed since. Instead of upgrading bridges or redesigning laws, the government simply froze the specs. Meanwhile, only the cab kept evolving. Air suspension seats, flat screen TVs, refrigerators. It became a rolling apartment. But the trailer? Still the same. The result? We need more trucks to move the same freight. That means more traffic, more fuel burned, and more emissions. While other countries figured out how to do it all with fewer trucks and smarter tech. Europe's quiet leap forward. Across the Atlantic, trucking looks different and smarter. European trucks often appear smaller because of their flat front cave over design. But don't be fooled. This design shortens the cab length while allowing longer trailers behind, creating more space for freight without increasing road footprint. And it's not just about size, it's about safety and technology. Take Scania, the crown jewel of Sweden's trucking industry. One American driver, Bruce Wilson, imported a 2025 Scania just to see what the fuss was about. His verdict? It's better in every way. We are in line with our Scania in a sea of American Peterbilt, Kenworth, Freightliners, all the good stuff to get it washed up. Compared to his American Peterbilt, the Scania has 170 more horsepower. It also comes with tech most U.S. rigs lack entirely. Curtain airbags, full cab safety systems, cyclist protection, emergency braking, and advanced lane detection. That's right, airbags in a truck cab. In America, most trucks still don't have them, not even a basic steering wheel airbag in some cases. But in Europe, safety is standard, and innovation is encouraged. The European Union allows longer and heavier trucks, but only if they meet strict safety and environmental standards. Instead of stifling progress, Europe regulates it smarter. For example, 
Sweden and Finland allow trucks up to 113 feet long and 167,000 pounds, more than double the U.S. limit. The results? Fewer trips, less fuel burned, and fewer emissions. Everyone wins, drivers, the economy, and the planet. Finland's freight revolution. Finland might not be top of mind when you think of trucking, but it should be. While the U.S. clings to its decades-old laws, Finland chose science. Decades of peer-reviewed research proved that longer, heavier trucks weren't just safe, they were more efficient. In 2019, Finland raised the legal truck length to 113 feet and boosted weight limits to 167,000 pounds. Not on a hunch, on evidence. They studied everything from how longer trucks interact with cyclists to how speed and visibility affect accident rates. They required safety upgrades like multiple onboard cameras, emergency braking, and lane departure warnings. And the environmental payoff? Huge. Their high capacity transport systems, HCTS, cut emissions per ton mile by 33%. Today, Finnish trucks are gliding down highways that would make American regulators sweat, delivering more cargo, costing less to operate, and leaving a smaller carbon footprint behind. And the United States? Still stuck in neutral. Australia's monster road trains. If Europe leads with science, Australia leads with size. Australia's answer to freight efficiency is the road train, and the name isn't an exaggeration. Australian road trains can stretch up to 175 feet and weigh up to 300,000 pounds. That's nearly four times the U.S. limit. Some of the most extreme road trains have even pulled over 120 trailers with a single tractor, earning Guinness World Records. Why go so big? Simple, Australia's terrain demands it. With vast deserts, few railroads, and remote towns, Australia needed a better solution. So they innovated. Their road trains are built for rugged terrain, optimized for balance, and designed for safety, even while hauling more cargo than most American freight yards. Fewer trips mean fewer emissions. More freight per driver means better labor efficiency. And for a country with labor shortages and huge distances, that's productivity America could use. While American rigs haul one trailer through Kansas, Australian trucks are pulling four times the weight through the outback and doing it safely. The hidden cost of staying small. At first glance, keeping truck sizes small might seem like the safe bet, but it comes with a massive cost, one the U.S. pays every single day. Today, trucks move about 65% of all freight in America. But freight productivity for trucks has flatlined since 1990, trains have become five times more efficient than trucks. Why? Because trains got longer. Trucks didn't. More trucks mean more road damage, more congestion, more emissions, and higher costs. Yet there's no national push for bigger trucks. No mainstream lobbying for smarter trailer regulations. Why? Politics, inertia, and lack of vision. We have the land. We have the engineering. We even have the motivation, reducing emissions, lowering costs, and improving freight efficiency, but we lack the will to act. While other countries look forward, America is still hauling freight under rules built for the Cold War. The world passed us by. America's trucks might still look like kings of the road, but they've lost the crown. Europe, Finland, and Australia have embraced smarter regulations, longer loads, and better tech. They're hauling more with less, less fuel, less traffic, and fewer emissions. Meanwhile, the U.S. is stuck polishing old chrome, measuring success by cab size instead of freight output. The path forward is clear, smarter policy, research-backed regulations, and a willingness to modernize. Because hauling freight like it's 1982 doesn't just waste time, it costs us our future. Until change comes, the real heavyweights of the trucking world won't be found in Texas or Michigan. They're already rolling strong, thousands of miles away.